Hi everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel to... <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> yeah, that was a little bit weird. Um, it's a little early, my voice is uh, <laughs> a little bit deeper right now, but uh, yeah, let me try that again. Hi everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today to watch this video. I appreciate you being here and checking out what I have to show you today. So. Today what we're gonna be doing is looking at a brand new 2020 limited edition interior, 76 inch mid-roof sleeper W990. Uh, it's a beautiful truck. It's sitting a little lower to the ground. It's looking good. Uh, it's sitting over there right in my showroom. So without further ado, why do I use that line? Without further ado, um, yeah, so it's sitting out in our showroom there. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, now I've lost my train of thought. What do I say? What's a, what's a better introduction to my intro? Um, all right, so the truck's sitting out there. Let's uh, roll that intro and I'll see you at the truck. Isn't that nice? Let's check it out. So like I said, this is a 2020 W990. It weighs in at 18,492 pounds. That's what this guy's, uh, this beast is sitting at. The wheelbase on this one is 260 inches. So it's a little bit longer. It's one of our first units for a tractor that we've brought in with a longer wheelbase than 244. For stock. Uh, I, I have to say we really laid this truck out beautifully. Uh, we have the 13,200 pound front axle with a five and a half inch drop so it sits a little bit lower to the ground looking good. If you knock a couple spacers out of there you can close up this gap too if, if you wanted and uh, just get that sitting nice and low. We <clears throat> ordered it with the polished battery box as you can see here. Uh, we have the def tank polished. We ordered the seven inch straps that are polished on polished tanks. And look at how those tanks are lined up. That's how you do it. Now, what you have to do to get this is you need to remove the fuel fill at rear of sleeper. Otherwise, these guys here are gonna stick out till about here. Then you're gonna get a gap. You don't really want to have a big gap there. You want to have it nice and lined up so it looks just minty minty like this. And getting rid of that uh, sleeper extender just makes it look old school, cool. Love it. Um, this is a legendary blue color. Now it's, it's really dark outside still. People are just rolling into the office. But uh, this is a high sparkle color. Just looks super good when the sun hits it. So later on today, I'm gonna to pull out my camera again and I'll show you how sparkly this color is. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, legendary blue, that's the name of the color. <clears throat> so we have a black painted frame, just the standard black uh, frame paint. And on the back here, we have the 
uh, LED flush mounted lights. We got a set there, a set there, and then we have the pedestal lights mounted up high. Now, I prefer to have those out on the side, um, but that's just how this truck was set up. Uh, so those can be changed uh, if you wanted to remove those and put them on the side we could do that here at the store but uh, That's just how that truck was this truck was set up So we got the three-foot deck plate and we have the steps on the passenger or the driver's side here So we ordered the truck with the AG 400 L suspension. So this is a 40,000 pound rated suspension It can haul up to hundred and ten thousand pounds gross uh, with with that suspension and we have uh, 336 gears in this truck. And by the way, this truck is a stock unit and it is available for sale. So call me if you wanna buy it, all right? Uh, we have the aluminum Durabrite rims uh, all the way around. So that's what we have here, of course. And we got the Michelin X-Line Energy Ds on the back. Forget what we have on the fronts. I think they're Michelin X-Lines as well. Uh, as far as the back end here we have uh well there's a diff lock right there forget if we put three-way or four-way lockups on this truck let's take a look and there's the other diff lock right there so yeah it's four-way lockers on this truck and uh fifth wheel is a 24 inch holland air slide it's a eight inch ride height so the height of the truck here will be probably around 48, 49 inches ballpark, okay? Don't quote me on that as gospel, but it's close. Uh, as you can see here, we have a nice wide stance on the uh, shocks for the sleeper. So you have the shocks outside of, and or the shocks outside the airbags over here, as opposed to inside. So you're gonna have a nice wide stance and it's, it's gonna keep that cab nice and stable for you. So we got the bigger fuel tank on this side here, as you can see, uh, this one here is 135 and that one would be a 90, I think. That is the configuration that you have to have. Yeah, that's a 90. So if you go to a larger tank, um, if you go to a hundred, it's gonna push that tank out a little bit further and then they're not gonna line up. And then if you want them to, these tanks to line up, you'd have to make that one a 150 and this one a 120. But then what happens is it needs more def capacity to match your fuel. So it makes this from a 20.7 to a 31.1, and then it pushes everything out even further and it doesn't line up. So this is the perfect setup for getting the fuel tanks to line up uh, without having to go to a larger def tank. So that's what you wanna avoid. And it, you gotta be really careful too when you're laying this out because this bracket right here is gonna interfere with the suspension mount. So, and this seven inch bracket is wider than the two inch bracket that we offer. So if you wanna have the seven inch brackets, you have to make sure that you keep this tight to the front and the tank's not too big. So there's a little bit of info for you. All right, walking around this side, we have your DPF toolbox, your DPF SCR Catalyst toolbox right there, and that's also polished with the aluminum end caps polished. And we have the dual stacks with the factory supplied seven inch uh, exhaust pipes, which is unpublished. You can't pick that as a standard option. You have to request it uh, and they will do it. It is a little bit tighter to the cab, but it just makes it look pretty mean looking, I think. Uh, single stack is only connected. The other one is a dummy. There's my, there's the Ninja Star, as I call it, right over there. It's maybe too dark, you maybe can't see it. But look at how much space you have underneath here. Like that's, there's a good foot of space from the top of the tank. So the, easy to work on, easy to, uh, to uh, get underneath there if you need to, you know, change a uh, U-joint or something like that on your, or uh, yeah, whatever. If you have to get underneath there, you have quite a bit of room. So it is a, a really nice, uh, a nice configuration. We didn't order it with any lights underneath here, but that is an option that you can do. There's a parts catalog that you can add all that stuff to. Uh, we have the doors with the windows on both sides. And uh, we put the chrome aerodynamic mirrors as well. Now the passenger side arm, you notice here, never talked about this yet, but on the wider cabs, the 2.1 meter cabs, this passenger arm is bigger 
than the driver's side arm. Now, exactly how much I would have to eyeball it and say yeah, it's about four or five inches bigger. And why they do that is so that you can see a little bit further around the side of the truck. And just the ergonomics of where you're sitting and where you can see, uh, it just makes it better to, uh, to see down the side of the truck and, and uh, safer. So just a little bit of infor information there. So interesting tidbit, tidbit of info. Man, I can't talk. I need more coffee, I think. <laughs> uh, all right, let's open up this hood. But before we do, I'll just showcase what we have up front here. We have the Texas bumper. We have the stainless steel shroud around the grill. We have the six gr grill bars, which are standard. So there isn't an option to put more or less in there. That's what you get. And you have that nice center spear, that, that traditional look that uh, we've been uh, showcasing for the last uh, several years. So that beautiful Kenworth bug. So let's open up this hood. It is a lot easier to open than the W9. And the nice thing about this hood, it is a five piece design hood. Why is that not opening all the way? Yeah, that's it. So it is a five piece design hood. So as you can see here, there are seams right there, right here, right here, and right here. Now the fenders are bolted and this piece here is bonded. So that's all glued together. This is bolted on. So if for some reason you hit, you know, get into an accident or something like that and you need to replace the hood, you certainly can uh, because these fenders are bolted on. All right, looking under the hood, here we have the Cummins Efficiency Series, the X15, 500 horsepower, 1850 torque engine. Uh, nice 100th anniversary edition badging on there. You gotta love it. Now the badging is silver when it's efficiency and it is black when it is performance. Just uh, if you wanna open up the hood and quickly see the difference there, but that's, uh, that's what we've got going on under the hood here. Uh, now we got your fuel water separator that's heated right there. We have your boost terminals, remote lube terminal, and that remote lube terminal is just for the release bearing on the transmission. Uh, normally you'd see clutch linkage, uh, left and right hand clutch linkage, uh, among other things. Well, with a manual transmission in the 2.1 meter cabs, here's your clutch. It's air assisted hydraulic clutch. So uh, no linkages there to grease. It's a very soft pedal, easy to push in. So you'll love that if you haven't uh, had a chance to experience that. Now, here's your washer fluid, your coolant, your oil fill, your oil check, your oil fill is right there on the Cummins. Uh, there is your power steering. And let's uh, show you the other side. So on this side is where your turbo is. And you have your HVAC system right up here with the easy access filter. Now there is a secondary filter right down there that you can add in if you want, just for high dusty environments. Uh, anybody can change that, very simple to do. And we sell them in our parts department somewhere in here. As I told you, we're in the middle of renovations. So uh, we're, we're changing the layout of our showroom a bit. So just stay tuned to see what that's gonna look like. Uh, all right, so let's close up the hood here. Nice heavy duty safety latch so it's not going to blow back on your head and uh, close up the hood and show you what's inside. so welcome to the interior all right so let's uh, show you how we set up the interior on this beautiful beautiful w990 so this is the top of the line interior that you can you can get on this truck uh, it is classified as the limited vit what you get is this ravenwood uh, insert right here on the door they also have that accenting down here around your switches up above right there and then over there as well and then on the door panel right there 
And what you also have is the royal blue stitching on the seats. And these are the heated, they're not cooled, but they're heated leather seats. Uh, so very nice midnight black color, just gorgeous. We do the blackout dash, so it just looks really sweet. And uh, there is an option to order the truck with the leather wrap steering wheel. Oh, tilt is on. Uh, we ordered the smart wheel with just the rubber, uh, just how we set this unit up. And with the diamond limited edition uh, interior, obviously you get that diamond stitched uh, with a, the royal blue stitching right here, the diamond button tuck, button tuft, whatever you want to call it. It just looks gorgeous. I love it. Anyhow, um, hey, one thing I haven't shown before, your data port to see is right here to get into the engine. Uh, that's more for mechanics, but uh, right here is your more fuses. So that comes out and look at that. We even put a light in there. How smart is that? So just a little <coughs> tidbit of information there for you. I'll throw that back in there. Now, while we're down here, I'm just gonna sneak this out. There we go. And I'm gonna sneak this guy out here too. Now, this is a W990 rubber floor mat. Okay. <gasps> what is this? This is Shift Products my friends over at Shift Products, and this is not sponsored. This is just, I love what these guys do. And uh, David and Adam and Jason and the guys at Shift Products, uh, uh, they build some pretty sweet stuff. They build a lot of lights uh, that go on the trucks, but uh, this is something that uh, they developed. And we have carpet, floor mats, custom designed for the 2.1 meter cabs. So this beautiful carpet goes in either a W990, a T880, or a T680. And as you can see, it goes right from edge to edge. But wait, there's more. And this whole piece here is another Shift Products carpet. And then this one here too. So we kind of doubled up. We have extra floor mats in here, but uh, I really was excited when I saw these things come in here. Uh, they're not much more money than your standard rubber mat, but you gotta, you gotta get those. If you want them, give us a call. Give our parts department a call, 204-694-3874, and we will get you set up with some shift products, uh, carpet floor mats. So. Let's keep looking at this truck. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go over the dash and I'll show you what we have here. Uh, down here is your lights on the back of the cab. So these are the pedestal lights, these are the flush lights, and that is a beacon switch. So if you wanted to hook up beacons to the truck, you have that right there. Now this is your exterior light test. Sorry, this is not. That is your brightness adjustment for your dash. And then this here is your interior lights. This is your exterior light test. So if you wanted to test your high beam, low beam, clearance lights, beacons, you flick that on and it will go through the test process and, and go through all of that for you. Uh, right over here is your window lift controls, your power door locks, your power mirrors, your heat for your mirrors. And then here's your signal stat. We have your radio controls right up here. We have your cruise control right there. Here's your Jake brake. I re actually really like that. And then over here, we have a couple spares. Uh, you can get these in either air or electric, just uh, on a side note. So depending on what your, your application requires, you can adjust those accordingly. Here's your trailer brake, and you can get this to be uh, locking, so it will stay down, or you can have it so it, it pops back like that. Engine fan, air traction control, auxiliary lights for those nice chicken lights underneath the cab, if you want. Here's three more spare switches. Here's your uh, DPF to do regens. The bunk light is currently on. That's why that green light is on. Air suspension dump. Here's your power divider, front diff, rear diff, and your rocket launchers. Just kidding. Uh, this is your PTO switch, and there's your fifth wheel slide. 
Now on the dash here, we did the full gauge package. So there's no navigation system built into this truck, but that's okay. It looks nice like this. Uh, we have your Sirius XM radio with the U USB and auxiliary input right there. And then, like I said, full gauge package. I'm not gonna t tell you all the gauges that are there, but uh, there's quite a few you can customize and pick and choose from. It comes with auto climate control. So that's uh, a really nice feature there. And that's standard. And then as far as up here, we have your hazards, your driving and clearance lights, your trailer clearance lights, and then fog lights. Uh, this truck isn't equipped with a fog light, but it has the provision for it. <clears throat> now over here, I really don't know what I should do. Should I take my shoes? No, I'm just gonna leave my shoes on. There, there are other footprints in here from being a showroom truck. So yeah, okay, I'm in trouble. Oh, well. Um, this has the passenger seat that swivels around. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, as far as the functions on the side here, this is a quick release to drop all the air out. You hit that again, and then it goes back to the last setting. This is to adjust how much you want your shock to, uh, to be more stiff or softer. This is your height adjustment. And with the GT703 seat, you get the additional lumbar support. Um, so you have three lumbar supports as opposed to two. This here adjusts your tilt on the back. And then between the legs here, there's adjustment for uh, the cushion, how much you want to have underneath your legs. And then also you can adjust the tilt of the seat too. And I'll show you how all that works here in a minute. Uh, and then there is also a chugger uh, right there or the chugger snubber or uh, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from. <laughs> all right, so let me move this camera and let's uh, show you what we got going on in the back of the bunk. All right, so before I jump back there, I'll just show you how the seat works. So there's a few different functions that you got to deal with here. So first, uh, first of all, I'll just show you here. This is your adjustment for uh, the swivel. So you got to slide that. Now what happens if you just start sliding it behind me here, this curtain is going to get caught on the side here. So there's another motion that you have to do and you got to pull the seat forward. So you just pull on that bar down at the bottom and, and then you can just walk it around like so. Easy peasy. And slider back. And then you got lots more adjustments to do here. So what you can do between the legs, there's two adjustments right here and here. So the one on this side here, as you pull it, it gives you the ability to tilt the seat forward or back. And you can adjust that on both driver and passenger seat if they're a GT702 or above. Um, and then on this one here, this is to adjust how much cushion you want to have underneath your legs. So if I want to sit back here, have the lazy boy or the recliner set up, my feet are just dangling off the ground here, uh, you can really get comfortable. Put that back, put your feet up at the end of the day, read a book, or take your 28 inch TV, Set that up right there like so. Grab a cold drink out of the fridge right there. Gotta love it. So I really like this. Uh, it's the driver's studio. Just a beautiful setup for the owner operator experience. <clears throat> now, uh, we'll just slide that back and let's show you what else we got going on back here. So in the back, we have these two drawers down below. Um, these have rubbers on the back side here, so they're not going to rattle and shake on you. Same thing up here. Now this table does swivel. You just pull on the latch down underneath here. Click right into place here. Nice heavy duty table. Uh, you can do your paperwork, have your, your sandwich or grab your food. And, you know, you can warm it up in the microwave up above here if you have that. So a few things there. There is a strap right here. So if you wanted to say strap your laptop or um, you know a DVD player or whatever you want, you can have that strap down there. Something sits low. And like I said, your TV mount is right there. There is a drawer below so you can keep your pantry items in there, canned goods or whatever you choose. And then this is your fridge. And some people say it's not very big. Well. What you can do, if you're not going to use the freezer, just slide that out like so, 
and now you just gained a whole bunch more room in your fridge. So just a little trick, something you can do there. All right, so I'll just put that back in. And as you can see, I did all that with one hand. So very easy to do. Uh, over here is your closet. So it's a nice open closet, deep storage pockets up here and here. This shelf can be removed with four screws or is it two? Anyways, with a couple screws, you can take that out and then you have room to hang shirts or pants or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, here's a storage pocket here. You keep maps or books or whatever you'd like. Uh, dirty laundry. You have a spot to hang your, your Kenworth hat and there is the mirror. Now I really like this setup here with the Diamond Studio uh, limited edition interior. You get that W990 stitched all across the back there, just letting you know you're sitting in, in a really nice truck. Uh, and then you have the Ravenwood, sorry, uh, the Royal Blue stitching on the Diamond tuck on the back wall. Uh, now up here, we have storage shelves on the back. So this is a really nice setup. Same thing, we have that rubber that runs all the way down. And look at how nicely lit that is with these LED lights, just gives you lots of visibility. Uh, here you can throw your duffel bag at the back here, uh, and these are deep as well, so they go down all the way to about here. So you have about a six inch piece here. If you have a duffel bag back there, it's not gonna come flying out, especially with this little safety latch that you can maybe do this with one hand. Yeah, there we go, I did it. This is where the microwave goes. You have a plug up there, a, a 12 volt outlet. If you order the factory inverter, you get uh, a 120 amp outlet or 120 volt outlet there. You get another one down there and you get one under the bed. All right, so let me just move this camera over here for a second. All right, so I'll just lift up this lower bunk area here. So that just slides out of the way like so. There's a little latch right there. And a beautiful thing is it has LED lights. Now those activate when you lift up the bunk or when you open the jockey doors. So you have full access to underneath here and it's well lit so you can see what's going on. There's the uh, HVAC system for the sleeper. So that's running the air conditioning and the heat when the truck is, is on and running. Um, you have your subwoofer right there. Fire extinguisher is in the jockey box here. And if you order a factory installed Webasto heater that goes right there. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit about what we got going on down there. Alrighty, so on the back wall here, we have an LED light. And now we can kind of see what's going on here. If you order the Kim system, which I have some future trucks coming with it, uh, and I'll show you how that works. The Kim's control is right there. If you order an S-bar heater from the factory, that goes right there. Your inverter control goes right there. Now, when you order the regular radio, you do have the option to have a volume control at the back here with a USB plug. So you can get that option. We haven't put it on very many trucks for stock, but uh, just something that we can do for not a whole lot of money. We have your 12 volt outlet right here. You can charge your cell phone off of that. This is your switch for the fridge. Uh, there's an alarm clock, your heat controls in the back here. This is to turn on the lights in the back, your night light for the floor, and then door locks. So that's a quick interior tour on this guy. All right, so thanks for coming by to watch this uh, video. I really appreciate you being here. If you are interested in this truck, you can give me a call. Uh, I'd be more than happy to share the full spec with you, but just a quick synopsis of this truck. 2020 W990 76 inch limited edition interior. Uh, it has the 500 Cummins efficiency series, 13 speed manual transmission, 13 two front DSH 40 rears, 336s on the back end on 22.5 rubber. So this is an ideal truck for hauling vans, reefers, flat decks, gravel, whatever you choose, up to 110,000 pounds of gross is what this truck is designed for. So if you would like to uh, get more details, like I said, you can give me a call. You can also check out my webpage. Uh, I have all of the inventory here at Inline Kenworth listed on thekenworthguy.com. Just follow that link, click that link, and you can see what we have listed for inventory. Uh, if you also want to subscribe to my channel, I sure would appreciate that. Uh, click the button on the bottom 
corner of your screen here and you can get notified about future videos if you hit off that bell. Uh, if you also want to uh, reach out to me on social media, I am on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, recently TikTok. I started a TikTok account. Uh, so I'm connected social all over the place. So check that out. So thanks again for coming by, watching this video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. Oh,